What up, YouTube? So I wanted to do this video today. Um, um, the the reason why I'm doing this video, I'll, I will reveal towards the end of the video. But for right now, I'm just going to read off some of the leading stories, news headlines that are being reported around the country. Some may even be some even around the world. So I'll just go ahead and get into it. Unknown event kills 33 reptiles at Tennessee Zoo. Now, mind you, me reading off these headlines isn't me um, uh, trying to take away from the severity of some of these events. I'm not trying to do that at all or discredit the reporting or the impact that these that certain events could have on the lives of people. That's not what I'm doing at all. So, again, unknown event kills 33 reptiles at Tennessee Zoo. Police in standoff on Las Vegas Strip after one shot dead, one injured. The Keystone XL pipeline still faces at least one big roadblock. 50 state secrets to visit around the USA. Hidden gems to visit around the USA. Thousands march in London against looming Brexit. Is Trump frustrated with Jared Kushner for skiing? See if your J.C. Penny store is among 138 closures. U.S. investigating reports that airstrikes killed 200 civilians in Iraq, which definitely is the news to America. Vice President Pence meets with his second favorite Reagans. U.S. investigates Mosul strike after more than 100 civilians were dead. What happens when you don't use a toilet seat cover? Electronics ban implemented on U.S. bound flights. Police chase cow until cow chase him. Civilians killed in Mosul neighbor neighborhood is destroyed during fighting. Basketball manager gets her shot in the game. California could square off with the White House over auto emissions. And there's some sort of internal loading error with the server, so I'll just continue on in another way let's see so basically uh the reason why i decided to make this video is because again like i said i want to hold in contrast some of the top headlines things that are being talked about in the nation um versus other things uh public memorial underway for carry and death uh, let's see Review, Nissan Armada rocks the, the US SUV fleet. Okay. How ex extremist con how extremist content and online ads meet. Island delicacy. What is that? Conchied out in the Caribbean? Whatever that means. Let's see. Trump's art of no deal. On healthcare, right. So basically, I wanted to do that. I wanted to read off these headlines, right? Oh, let, let's let's go for some more. There's actually more headlines on a completely different uh, website. Khalid Masoud from popular team to murderous extremist. Putin meets French far right candidate Marine Le, Marine Le Pen at Kremlin. Afghan troops withdraw from key area in fight with Taliban. Khalid Massoud, what we know about the London attacker. Airstrike on Syria school near Raqqa kills dozens, report says. Scotland independence debate suspended after London attack. Islamic State 2.0 as the caliphate crumbles, ISIS evolves. North Korea begins operations to recover sunken Seawall Ferry. Or Seawall Ferry. Failed North Korean missile exploded within seconds, U.S. says. McGinnis, from IRA terrorist to peacekeeper. Paris Orly Airport. Father of gunmen says son, not a terrorist. So, again, I wasn't trying, this is not me trying to, oh, and this is another one too, local woman relief effort to repeal Obamacare failed. Quickly, I'm going to go into the, um, oh, wait. Oh man, former teacher represents self in trial for sex with teen. 
So again, I'm not trying to diminish any of these stories because some of these stories are actually very serious and affect the lives of many people. So I'm not any any way trying to diminish the severity or the importance of any of these stories whatsoever. But about the Obamacare thing real quick, for you guys who don't know, um, so Trump and his cabinet, they weren't able to actually repeal Obamacare. So all of you who have Obamacare, you will be on Obamacare for the entirety of 2017. Because even though Trump said he he could think of a better way to give health care to Americans than Obamacare, basically just trashing the whole Obamacare thing or whatever. I wasn't necessarily a fan of it. But here's the thing, if you're gonna trash it and then talk down on it the way you did and make claims about being able to do something better and then have to kind of bow out of the game and say, you know what, I really can't find anything better than Obamacare right now that is going to give Americans health care and still benefit the pharmaceutical industry. Because at the end of the day, any health care system that's in place that penalizes you for not having that health care, that's not a democratic system. That's not even socialized medicine. That sounds like fascism to me, in my opinion. But anyway, I just thought I'd say something about that. Um, so basically, if you guys if you guys are familiar with the uh, the, the issue with uh, Trump and Obamacare, well now you see they haven't been able to find any better solution to Obamacare as Trump said he could. They haven't been able to replace it with something that would be even better for American citizens. They're continuing to use Obamacare for the rest of 2017. So just keep that in mind. Now, here comes the reason that I made this video. So, there has been um, an influx, uh, or rather, not an influx, I should say, but the channels that I follow. Um, the last cha the last channel that I actually, on YouTube, that I, uh, whose video I watched was Town Biz. Shout out to Town Biz. Um, th and this is the last channel, the last video that I watched on it, talking about the um, the missing women from the D.C. area. Now, as as of his video, which was five, made five hours ago or so, there were 13 women in D.C. The majority of them are African-American black women. They're not all black women, but the majority of them are black women who are going missing in the D.C. area, who just vanished in the D.C. area. We don't know if it's a serial killer at large. We don't know if there could be something more sinister and heinous, um, like people getting snatched up for organ harvesting or whatever. There's always weird things going on in America. And every year, there are hundreds of thousands of people who go missing every year in this country. It's not by accident, I don't believe. And this is a consistent thing. But here's my point. My point is that out of all of those news headlines that I read to you guys, not one headline mentioned any of these women missing from the D.C. area, from the D.C. metropolitan area. Not one headline covered this story. Not one. Even when the first eight women that went missing were black. Not, I haven't ran across not one national news story where this story was a headline. I just want you guys to think about that for a second. And for all of you people out there that talk about black lives or all lives matter, this is why black lives matter is an important thing. The sentiment, the statement itself, not necessarily the organization, but the, the thought, the sentiment. This is why that is important, because apparently black lives don't matter to non-black people or the white media. Fuck it, I'm going to say it. The white media. Think about it. Why haven't these killings been reported on? If a little white kid goes missing, that shit circumnavigate, circumnavigates the planet with a million times within an hour. Everybody over the world knows about a little white kid that goes missing. These black women are going missing more than likely over the past few months or so. And it has not made national news headlines. Why? When Ray Rice knocked his, um, his, his now wife out in that elevator, Everybody in the world know about that three seconds after the video touched down on the internet. Colin Kaepernick's protest of the, of the flag and the national anthem. Make global headlines, make national headlines all, all over the country within seconds. Black women are going missing in D.C. The na you know what I'm saying? The nation's capital. And nobody is reporting this. Nobody's making this headline news. 
I just wanted to highlight that 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 contrast, the strict the, the hypocrisy in our news and our media. They only bring you the most important stories, late breaking news. This is important. There could be a serial killer at work in D.C. This is just speculation. There could be a serial killer in D.C. targeting. Because all those, all the pictures that I've seen, all these young women look to be around the same age. They could be anywhere from, I would say, 16 to 20, it looks like. They look very young, very youthful. This could be a serial killer at work. Or, like I said, it could be something more sinister. But, again, why is the local or the national media in this country not reporting on this and making this an issue? I just wanted to highlight that. I just wanted to hold these things in contrast so you guys could understand, you know, that the media is biased and they dictate what is important or not important to be talked about so far as news is concerned. Isn't this news? I mean, isn't it? Wouldn't you think it would be news? I would think it would be news, right? But that's just me. Now that this other conversation might not be a Quick PS to this video. Um, what I want to say is the purpose of this video wasn't to promote the um, report of all of these young girls going missing, like 14 young girls going missing in 24 hours. The point of the video wasn't to talk about that because as you know, as I was reporting this and looking at the different news articles, I was reading the headline, I was reading the story, and some of the some of the girls who are whose images are who have been captured and put in relation with this story about the women in DC going missing, some of those uh pictures are, are from six years ago. Or from years and years ago, you know. So, so, so while this was blown out of proportion and sensationalized, the point of the video was to highlight that had in fact this had been an actual situation, where was the national coverage of this story or the mainstream media debunking this story? Where was the mainstream media at when this story broke? And why wouldn't they take this more seriously? That's the question. That's the question when black or non-white lives are involved, why does the mainstream media seem to kind of turn a blind eye when, it, when, 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 when black people or non-white people are the victims of crimes? We'll say that, allegedly. So, I just wanted to give you guys a PS on that so no one blew the topic of this video out of proportion, especially the last part. Peace.